Okay, so here is my speed test comparison um, with an overclocked droid. So right now it's set at 1 gigahertz. So right now I have an IGN page loaded, just the home page. It's going to hit up the browser. <clears throat> and I'm just going to let you see the, uh, the way it smoothly goes between each of the uh, different JavaScript um, images, JavaScript controlled transitions. And then I'll zoom in a bit and just give you an idea of how it feels. So now uh, I'm just going to scroll up and down to give you an idea, do maybe a quick between the two. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in to about the size of the widths of these images. So now that I'm about there, first I'm just going to do a text scroll through just to give you an idea on how that looks and feels. This uh, is being recorded at 30 frames a second, so I'm sure there's going to be some, maybe something I can't convey that well, but <clears throat> hopefully it'll be visible. So I'm just going to do some slow scrolling through these pictures here. Okay, I'm going to go through quickly now. One thing you can really notice is when you're going quickly, you can actually, like, you can actually, like, see each image as it's scrolling pretty clearly. Um, when I go to the stock speed, which is 550 megahertz, there's something about the way they move. It's smooth feeling, but things like images, when they scroll by, you just don't get enough uh, frames for them to, like, be clear in your mind, is, you know, what I'm guessing. So, now I'm going to zoom back out to the main and then switch it out for the uh, stock speed. So I'm going to put it to 550 and then go back to that same IGN page. It looks like I might have clicked a link in there, so I'll just go back, let that load. That kind of sucks. Hopefully it'll load up pretty quickly here. And I'll wait for the whole page to load before doing any sort of um, test here, just to make it fair. So you can see it is loaded, I believe. Yep and I'll do about the same tests so first I'll let you see the transitions they still ha uh, still has a couple frames between the images using the JavaScript doesn't look too bad but uh, in person you can tell that it's just missing a couple of frames here and there then I'm just gonna do a couple couple of going you know up and down throughout the existing page all zoomed out to give you an idea of how that looks and feels and then I'll zoom in to about the width of these images here. Okay, and then I'll do the uh, text scrolling feel. Okay, and then I will do the image scrolling here. So if I go, you know, slow definitely it's smooth feeling but if I go kinda quick it kinda like I don't know it's kinda hard to really get what the images are like they just move at a frame rate that's just I don't know it makes them too blurry in my mind I guess but it's smooth I mean <laughs> remember having cell phones two years ago and wishing it was even this smooth Okay, and then I'll zoom back out to the main. Things like the pinching to zoom in and out is also just much smoother with 1 gigahertz. And just uh, to show that that um, speed changer is actually doing its job, I will put it at the lowest puke worthy setting 125 megahertz. This is so bad. This should be illegal. Okay, so I'll let it sit. It's actually getting through the images, but there is absolutely no transition between them. Okay, and I'll scroll through this page. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you ran your phone at this though, you'd have probably amazing battery life. If you could deal with this. Okay, and it'll do the zoom in. Zooming is just terrible using like this. <laughs> Come on phone, you can do it. Oh no, wait. It's doing its thing. You're not patient enough, Android task watcher. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. It's getting there. I'm going to call that good enough. I don't feel like trying to fine tune the zoom here. And let's do some scrolling, <laughs> or lack thereof. Okay, now let's do the images, and then we'll be set. So it's pretty amazing that it still is able to handle it at 125 megahertz. Like, this is user uh, user nightmare if it was like this every day. But the fact that it actually renders a web page and you're actually able to see everything and if you're patient, get somewhere. It's pretty cool. It shows you how well it can scale, I guess. So that's all.